welcome to You're Doing It Wrong. I'm Coach PJ. Today, Coach Carlos is going to help me show you guys how to perform the lateral lunge. I had a few requests about this one, and I see this very commonly performed incorrectly uh, in the gym. So I want to show you guys a couple of tips about how to perform this exercise correctly and efficiently. So first, Coach Carlo is going to show you some of the most common mistakes that people do when they perform this exercise. The first one, he's going to go ahead and step out, and he's leaning all of his weight to the left here. So he's thinking about just stepping sideways and not sitting his hips back like we're going to go over in a second. The second one, when he steps out here, he's doing two big mistakes. One, he's turning this toe out as he steps, so he's facing the toe out this way, which is going to change the mechanics of this lunge. And number two, he's collapsing on this back leg. He's paying no attention to the back leg. He's collapsed his back ankle, and he's collapsing his knee, which is going to put a ton of pressure into the inside compartment, the medial compartment of his knee. So those are two things that we really don't want to be doing when we're performing a lateral lunge. And then the last one, going from the side here, as he steps out, he's got all of his weight really far forward. And then you'll notice this sometimes people who don't have very good mobility or they just don't know how to sit their foot flat and get their hip back. So they end up stepping out on the ball of their foot and their knee comes way out in front of their toe, which again is not going to be very good for his knee and is not going to put him in a very good position to perform this exercise. So those are some of the most common mistakes. Now the right way to perform this movement and why it's a little bit confusing for people when they first learn it, what I'm going to have Carlo do is he's going to step out to the side here and as he steps, I tell him to step and then reach his hips back almost at a diagonal. And one little trick I give when I, with my athletes is if my toes are in a direct line, I'm actually going to step slightly forward with this outside foot so that my feet end up almost toe to instep. And that's just going to give me a little bit more room to sit my hip back the way I need to. So Carlo's going to go ahead and demonstrate here. Step, sit, and he's going to reach his hips back towards me. And notice he's hinging over at the hips. He's not trying to keep his chest completely vertical. He's hinged at the hips. He's reaching his hip back. His foot's nice and flat, and his knee is right about over his shoelaces. So that is a perfect position for him in this lateral lunge, where he's now sitting his hip back. He's got his back leg straight and his foot kind of flat, and then he's going to drive up out of this position. Just give me two more reps. Step, sink, drive out. Give me one more. Notice one other thing he's doing is he's framing his leg with the dumbbells. You can step up. So as he steps, he sits his hip back and he reaches back at a diagonal towards that wall. And that's a cue I give the athletes all the time. If there's something behind them, I say step and then reach your hips back towards this rack. He's also using those dumbbells and he's framing his leg, which is what, another way I like to teach this. So that people don't know what to do with the dumbbells and they awkwardly get in their own way. So as they step out, I teach them to frame their leg with those dumbbells. They're reaching the dumbbells right towards the middle of their foot. And then I'm going to let my chest come right over my leg as I step down. Again, so it allows my hip to hinge back and I can get those proper mechanics. And we're still going to get plenty of lateral forces that we're overcoming in that step and that he's producing as he pushes back on the frontal plane. But we're not allowing that to keep traveling once I step into this position. I'm not allowing all those forces to travel over my leg where I don't have any more control. So uh, I'll give you two more reps here. One other thing I'm going to show you. As he steps, he's nice and braced through the torso. So he's not allowing his body to get pulled in any different position, which is going to allow him to efficiently absorb and transfer that force in that lateral lunge. So that's the right way to perform a lateral lunge. That's the way I teach it to my athletes. It's gonna, we're going to get a lot more out of that exercise when performing it that way. And it's going to be a lot safer for Carlo when he performs those exercises. This is You're Doing It Wrong. I'm Coach PJ. Thanks for joining me on this one. Please share this one out with your friends if you like this episode. And stop in next week for another episode of You're Doing It Wrong.